especially for those who may be new to our channel. Most of it has been evidenced. The key finding summary is that the crucifixions that people know as the crucifixions of Jesus Christ, the unrepentant thief and the repentant thief, that they all represent celestial crossings that mark the end of an age cycle and that end with the ignition of a literal sun and the death of the sun that we know of and see in the sky. Technically, the sun is already dead. We're just witnessing the last. We exist within an interactive holographic simulation matrix that contains artificial intelligence within its construct with sentience attached in form. And we've shown that in the evidence where you see the archetypes of the celestial bodies looking into the television monitor. And that television monitor represents earth. I've shown those examples numerous, numerous times. Mm -hmm. The inverted matrix and the inverted Trinity foundational bodies consist of father Saturn, father time, the sun, Jupiter, S O N, and the mother, who is the Holy Spirit, symbolized by the dove most often. Mm -hmm. And we've shown those codes also that the dove is coded to Mary. And let's look at the word Mary. We've covered the RY code in, re in relation to Jupiter. Ma Rai. Ma is commonly known as a mother. So it's mother to Rai, RY, mother to RI, mother to Jupiter. And the mother to Jupiter is Alcyone. Mm. She birthed him and she's going to rebirth him. It's also the sea. Again. Mar is the ocean. It's also the ocean. water. Because she, uh, what she births, that's why it's Mary. Not, because within Mary is the sea that births, that gives birth the womb. Now, the mother, Holy Spirit, is also coded in the film The Fifth Element, where it's the female that's referred to as the supreme being. And she is, in essence, the fifth element. And she essentially is a savior also, because don't forget, they're all working in conjunction with one another in this ignition. She is, you know, Mary Alcyone is the spark mm. to the flame of Jupiter. And we have shown the evidence that Alcyone is coded to the number five. So we've covered the three, four or five codes in relation to Saturn, Jupiter and Alcyone. And that's the evidence there. And okay, so I mentioned parts of this in the last segment, but the fallen angels are the stars and planets within this lower density underworld of duality, also known as the Elohim, and what the Gnostics refer to as the Archons and the Archontic system that we are in amongst, which is an underworld. Otherwise, this place would be called heaven, and we certainly know it's not, and that we're. <laughs> It doesn't function like it. So um, furthermore, the prime agents of harvesting souls and justice, just ice. Mm -hmm. And I've shown the codes that the Jovian bodies, the ice bodies representing law and order. Mm -hmm. And they are the gatekeepers. And they are, are the bodies of Saturn, Jupiter, and Alcyon also. They all represent the scales to which human souls are going to be measured. They are the watchers. And I've shown the codes in Benjamin Button where Jupiter, Benjamin Button is on the roof and he says, I see everything. And he is also the eye on top of the pyramid. Mm 
Mm-hmm. So, the, and this is why the BB codes also refer to the smart systems below, which are the as below to the as above functions of Jupiter surveilling. Mm-hmm. And BB code, big brother. And if Jupiter is big brother, and that means little brother Saturn. So moving on. There are beings in power programmed to act and act in accordance to cause and effect of the human collective behaviors. And the more that the collective choose to behave negatively in polarity, the more that negative events can be enacted by those authorities uh, and exercised to execute such events. And that can also include environmental impacts Mm -hmm. and the severity of those impacts prior to the upheavals that are going to happen as a result of the convergence of the event horizon. So, it, it can be a smoother ride, but the framework of this system, and this is why I say it's an interactive simulation because some events are simulated as part of the architect design and the foundational design. And that is that these harvests occur like clockwork. So yeah, there, there isn't a, a, any averting of that. However, we can avert what happens to us in terms of severe events leading up to that. Mm -hmm. But really ultimately, yeah, we do reap what we sow. You know, there is no escaping that. Uh, This this whole system works on cause and effect. And they've used that against everyone. And this is the reason why they've checkmated reality so that you are walking your own karma and usually they're not karmically responsible for much of it because you, you know, in one way or another, we are taking the bait. So, mm. you know, if they set something up and you agree to it, whether through omission or not, to them it's irrelevant. Because ultimately, if, if you agree to it, then you've agreed to it. They are only putting it out there. That's how they see it. So they're not forcing you to take it. Well, this is where technology, you can say technology works both sides of the game as well, because Mm -hmm. technology can be harnessed to harm Mm -hmm. and it can be harnessed to help. Mm -hmm. So it's really what we do with, with the tools at our disposal. Exactly. And, and it is knowledge has been increased. I mean, look, look around, especially in the last hundred years and, and the knowledge has been increased and the systems have been put in place in accordance with the timing of this harvest. But so, because that is an opportunity at this Sorry. knowledge is always increased and information is always revealed and secrets are revealed prior to the end of a cycle. So this is part of their law where they allow, if you will, the release of information and a short window. But that also applies to the higher divine plan as well. That's not just in accordance to them. It's been ordained by a higher power also. Mm -hmm. And this is the thing I, I know that, yeah, okay, a lot of terrible things can happen in this underworld, but I know that there is a higher hand overseeing even what the archons are doing. Mm -hmm. So there is a power that is ultimately Mm -hmm. trumps whatever this system can inflict and can intervene also. And this is why I've never liked the phrase savior programming because divine interventions, right? For lack of a better word, right? Because I look at divine, the divided vine, Okay, that's what we're in, <laughs> duality. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'll just say positive supernatural interventions occur yeah. every 
second of every day here. And so people have been saved by their guard, by guardian angels and things like, well, you know, for lack of a better term, all right, I'll just call it guardian angels. Guardian. Okay. Guardians, helpers, celestial and helpers. And also by your higher self, yeah. which is a guardian to you. And this is why I'm looking forward to doing the interview with you regarding ESA, mm -hmm. because there are going to be interventions. Oh, I know. With him. Mm. And what I call the good family who are overseeing mm. everything and the higher powers do read hearts. It's not just the archons mm -hmm. that know our intimate thoughts and our intentions and our feelings. Yeah. It is the higher powers also, and there are going to be positive interventions. And this is why there is always hope here. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how much the light is dimmed. So there's going to be a lot of surprises. A lot of spectacular surprises. Yeah. And not just negative mm -hmm. because we know that, yeah, the negatives are, are working to the element of surprise and trying to catch people mm -hmm. off guard and, and uh, unawares. Sadly, which the unawares part is what many have chosen, but it is what, you know, that's, that's their will. When we see in, in ancient myths, mythological lore, stories about Inanna, Ishtar, going into the underworld, which this is the underworld, and doing time there, <laughs> they've, they've actually altered the accounts to make it sound like this being or these beings, even Isa Christ, who had to do to come in and, and acquire keys, that it's an underworld that is completely different from here. It isn't. It's this underworld. What this underworld is connected to, regardless of how many astral levels, it's all the same underworld. There are just levels attached to this. And I wanted to say that because I know that there's so much misunderstanding with how the stories have, whatever the stories are accounted for here have been all misconstrued on purpose. So that, you know, you don't really get, you don't capture the truth. It's, it's the same as um, making Lilith out to be the devil, the she devil. And these are all real beings, by the way, like, yes, they change the name in each civilization, but they are about real. But that's the thing. If you, if, if people can't grasp the allegorical truth, mm -hmm. then of course the perception is going to be geared a certain way. So for example, if you call, uh, uh, so for example, the whore of Babylon. Yeah. I mean, the reason she's called a whore is because she converges with, she's converged with many of the star Kings throughout the ages. Mm -hmm. And and I've shown the codes how it's coded as they have intercourse. Yes. Now, to the to the layman, that's going to look like she's the devil, right? And she's just leading people into corruption and ruin. But what does a star so, do? Does a celestial planet do? It it intercourses. Absolutely, yeah. So. And and really. That's, that's what this all is. It's all the cyclical nature of the ages and how there are different le levels and layers of consciousness to each age. And in fact, it's inverted. What people think is, is the devil, the she devil, mm -hmm. she's actually going to be the one to tear down duality and tear down the, the corrupt system. It's actually the opposite of what the layman has been led to believe. Yes. So, 
but again, I, I don't want anyone. To, I know people could probably like, they're trying to like fool us, la la la, you know, but you, you got to discern this with the spirit. Okay. Because it's, it's all coded mm-hmm. and it is coded to initiate knowledge. And we've so, shown so many examples of how the Bible is a code book. Mm-hmm. And if it's a code book, you then have to question everything in it. When you say it's written by God himself. Himself. It's kind of funny. That's right. Because there's deliberate veils attached to those writings and teachings, but it's a great book also because there are also a lot, there's also a lot of wisdom in there, a lot of literal wisdom, mm-hmm. which is an amazing guide for people. And, and I'm sure I haven't read the Quran. I'm sure that's in the Quran. I'm sure that's with well, a lot of these religious systems. The Quran has you know? many gems yeah. that do. There's, I feel there are certain sacred knowledge imparted in all of the biblical um systems that the people that were involved in writing these or giving the interpretations i feel were initiates and that the initiates some of them were like white hats and they were like actually putting in their real information and real um living information yeah, and, well, and I'm sure some of that was downloaded. Yeah, you know, or channeled. Yeah, from certain sources, but the, right. you have to also question every source yeah. where you're getting information. Mm-hmm. That's that's for everybody. Yeah, you know, us included. I mean, I've had I've had to examine even the, the you know, I'm sure I've had. I don't actively channel, but I'm sure I, I know I have it. I've had downloads. I've had inspirations. Okay. And, but I have to scrutinize everything and I do. And that's why I did obsessively seek out the materials in order to see all the correlating patterns. Mm -hmm. And to me, when, when they all consistently line up Mm -hmm. and, and I know the elites have been mandated to do it. They've been mandated to put the truth of the actual celestial codes out there yeah for those to see it exactly absolutely and And i guess now is the time for people to to examine that they've been doing and to discern it so from the white brotherhood to yeah brotherhood of the sun and brotherhood of the black all of it they've been mandated to do it I don't know. They're all caught. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of them there's out there, you know. But, 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 what we're trying to say is that yeah, it's mystery knowledge, and people, it, even that alone would turn a lot of their belief and their faith on its head. Yeah. If they knew that this these scriptures were crafted to reveal an astronomical account. Mm-hmm. They are. in many in many ways they are yes many many ways and even you know we've mystery, exposed a lot of that even the mystery of how all the celestials have manifested in this state of being which is a mystery mm-hmm. though adam and eve are the actual star bodies so that they formed from the dust that was not referring to humans. No. In, no. in that allegory, that, that is al- he, allegorical. Yeah. And that, that account was to illustrate the harvesting of the forbidden fruit in the middle of the garden, mm-hmm. which was earth. But the Adam and Eve uh, origin point of the dust is actually the mechanical AI version of creating technology to remove the power and the true spiritual connection of the celestial bodies. Well, because that's the inception of the matrix. And that exactly. 
So, and that's huge, huge. So there's a bigger, a bigger story mm -hmm. and a bigger, a uh, more yeah. complex account yes, beyond that. I will mm -hmm. love to give on another video. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, another important point I wanted to bring up. So being born within a particular star group template mm -hmm. does not make one subject to its influence uh, unless by, by one's will to not overcome that flesh makeup and, and parts of the consciousness that's working upon mm -hmm. that the, matrix. Like the Saturn star group or the Jupiter star group where the, or the Alcyon star group or the Alcyon where all the souls that's their soul group. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So like I say, we're, and the instruction in the Bible is that, yeah, we're here to overcome the world system of the flesh yeah. and the material world. Yeah. And so the, these, these star bodies, we are made in their image. And that's why I use the example mm -hmm. that we, you know, of yeah, we create gas like the stars and whatnot is that we are made in their image. In and this, this material world and this but this is the material world this yes. avatar is the material world yeah that must well, be the, see within the inversion it's they are the primes mm -hmm. of the matrix yeah and we have identified and we have evidence that and they are part of the foundational construct as we have identified that saturn and jupiter are the foundational brotherhood yeah. pillars of this world construct creation yeah. along with the feminine element where we say that the Adam and Eve account goes beyond is that it's, yeah. it's the, the womb of creation mm -hmm. started with the female, you know, it started with the egg, so to speak. But the male genitalia is the external version of the internal female. It's the same. Only one's internal, one's external. So we're here to overcome the flesh design. And we overcome and evolve in good spirit. Okay, so I've just made a note here that, yeah, touching on what we've said, often it is uh, as an operation of as above, so below here in the micro, because we are made in the image of the stars and planets, hence their influence over our flesh makeup. So that can be resisted. That's just some of the key, key aspects of the nature of reality and the parts that we've been able to evidence in discussion and in presentation. So I think that that's, yeah, good for those uh, who are kind of playing catch up. Is there anything you wanted to add? I would like to... I would like to just speak about hope and knowing that although this is a very difficult transition and transmutation of the largest alchemical process in the heavens and on the earth, it is absolutely vital and and probably the grandest opportunity in evolution of the becoming so there is a lot within it that is pretty spectacular and although difficult and it 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 is a death process it is absolutely absolutely a death process because we have to die to the inverse. We have to die to what is not of our heavenly body. So there's no way around that. Well, yeah, we'll dying to the peace with that <clears throat> process. Have a peace in spirit of your heaven estate, your heavenly estate in truth outside of this inverse in your original prime origin and 
the template that is not the technology of the inverse. Hmm. Yeah, so, pertaining to that of the great spirit mm -hmm. that wants us to see through to the illusions of this world yes. and the many lies that have been foisted upon us yes. from cradle to grave. And part of this work is to peel a lot of that away. Exactly. And hopefully people can be at a point where they're strengthened enough to still manage and not be overcome even in disillusionment because we have to be careful of that as well because you can be very angry in that. Once you do realise, you know, we've all kind of gone through those phases where, you know, it's like when you've realised you've been defrauded. But that's the state, that's what everybody's going through because it has to be that way. The illusions have to be revealed for what they are. You, they have to crash. They have to come crashing down on you in order for you to be able to literally go through that the death of that, which yeah. has always, always been there to imprison you. So there is the greatest opportunity. And although we are trapped in these avatars within the inverse, this is not our first estate. We are no. of original prime creation and our first estate is our original heaven, if you will. And the only yeah. death to fear ultimately is the second death. The second death. Yeah. Cause that is when essentially you are, that is basically the, the disintegration. Exactly. You, you still technically are there as an energy form, but what you know of your, like your form. No, it'll be, will be no more. No, it'll be that is the second death. And there's a lot of uh, creatures, I'll call them, a lot of creatures hiding in human form, that that will be their fate, lest, lest oh. they repent. Well, and they'd have to do a lot more than repent, but that's a different story. So with the splitting of the cells, yeah, um, we are seeing the divide for sure. And... And I just want, I want people to remember, I want the primes and the reels to remember the metaverse is within you. Heaven is within you. Everything is within you. So the trap itself, the inverse, it doesn't matter how, how much of a simulation this is. It's an illusion, essentially. I'll buy it. An important one because we are all here for a reason and a purpose a grander purpose so it everything counts what we do here and there's a lot on the line yeah. i've got a few things to lay out in regard i've got some softer decodes as well but i think i've been doing the celestial crossing decodes i think i've been doing that for two years i'm about to wrap up that chapter but we corroborate. So a lot of, a lot of what I've been shown, because I'm not technical. So I, mm. and I, I don't go and research anything. So it's really a, a great balance because you are the counter balance to the experiential. Okay. That's one way of looking at it. Yeah. Well, I know, look, I know we're brought together, you know, for a bigger purpose as well. But there, there are a lot of, things that are ready to come out at this juncture, which I know the heavenly bodies are happy about. Yeah. Being very cryptic there. Don't know what to make of that. <laughs> See what unfolds then, eh? You know, well, look, we're always within the duality, so it's not, it's not just the, the negative aspects playing out. There are definitely positive aspects playing out. And it's really, it's, it's how we choose to react to what we're faced with these events, especially in, in the wake of the lockdowns, it has produced positive catalysts in other areas. So, so for example, 
so a lot of people have been hit financially, but on other levels, it's actually improved their mindsets or it's, it's shaped them in, in, in ways to be wiser in other areas. But yet, sure, the duality has seen that they've taken the material hits to their finances and their bank account. And, and sure, that's going to cause a, a lot of stress and a lot of pain. But this is the thing. This is the, the wonders of duality here is that like both are playing out simultaneously. So it is complex, but yeah. I will never, ever endorse, you know, negative deeds. But I just know that, yeah, it's a very complex system. And ultimately we're here to, to overcome what we're faced with, you know, and no matter how difficult and challenging it is, and really it's, we will find we're more satisfied in our lives when, when we look to service to others. And that's something I'm certainly looking to work on more as well. Oftentimes it is our impulse, you know, to, to self-preserve. Uh, and to think of oneself and our own well-being, but but I find that yeah, once once you've done a lot of your own self-work, shadow work, which I'm still working through as well. But once you can take the steps you need there, then part of your natural evolution is you just start naturally thinking of how you can help others. And so, I hope this work work has helped a lot of people. I can only hope. I know that we've we've disseminated a lot of difficult knowledge, but I really hope that that leads to seeing the light and evolving in a form of enlightenment. We all have ways to go onto enlightenment. On that note, So the song that's playing right now is called The Tide. The tide that takes you out to sea. Washing over me. It's kind of like good to end there. Well, I'm hoping that's not literal, sweetheart. No, it's not. Like, I'm not really sure that's like the best the song to wrap up with. This is the cosmic time. You know, we're like on a flood watch here, like for this time period. And you want to wrap up with like <laughs> the tide washing over me? Really? I want to give you anxiety? This is cosmic. <laughs> oh. It's pretty fitting. <laughs> on that note. Hey, you know what? You know what? On a serious note, I don't think a tsunami is even actually a really bad way to go out. No. I think that's actually a very I quick drowned, way to go I've out. I've drowned before. It's, it's actually like once you get over the initial horror, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, well, I think a tsunami would just like knock you out unconscious. That's a so tsunami, you probably, yeah. Like, you wouldn't even be conscious of it. So you wouldn't I, go through what I went through. So that's actually completely great, actually. Well, the scriptures say that when the more extreme events manifest, it'll be a mercy. That it'll be a, exactly. It will be a mercy. Yeah. I realize that the song, the tide is playing, but uh, by the irrepressibles is beautiful. I have to say. So no. I want to thank everyone. I know it's been a long time. It is a bit of a challenge to find the time to get these out. Um, Hey, I had to furnish, I had to furnish a whole house virtually online the last, the last couple of months or so. Well, we both had to uh, like, do yeah. the moves that went, well, I don't know about yours, but I know mine was hell on earth, but, no, no. um, but we thank everybody and we send everyone love and just, um, yeah, know who you are, know where you come from. That is the most important knowledge to keep your heart fire large. Yeah. Well, the duality gives us a conscience. So. And so answer, answer to good conscience and, and we're all going to screw up. So answer to conscience. Yeah.
you know, there's something that there is to answer to. Um, and we'll yeah. be doing, um, yeah, that interview soon. So we would like to say thank you to everyone. And in this, uh, before Christmas on the Jupiter Saturn convergence, take the positive from it and use the energy for consciousness and evolution and do not be afraid to go through the eye of the needle no matter how hard it is and no matter how, whatever is confronting you go through it and use the energy being presented in the conjunction because that is a marvelous opportunity yeah as we walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I shall fear no evil. Good night, everyone. Good night. Washing